It's been too long. I've called, messaged, emailed. Bernice. Hi, um, what are you doing here? <laughs> oh, sorry, um, I've been busy. We can catch up another time. Oh, we can't. I'm only in town until the protest tomorrow, and I'm flying home right after. I mean, seriously, the military has gone too far with the shit they're developing. Okay, but it's late. I'll I have to finish some work. I have our old favorite. Come on, it will just be for a little bit. Look, I know you. You need some time to let loose. Tonight's really not a good night. Oh, for me, tonight's the only night. We gotta catch up anyway. Right in. Great! Can I give you a hug? Thank you for asking. <laughs> I gotta say, this is really a nice place, Adrian. And so many awards. I see you've been keeping yourself busy. It's really nothing. Oh, come on, be proud of your achievements. Like this one, 3D Printing Expo. Wow. Okay, tell me all about it. Oh, well, hi. Bernice, this is Armin. My boyfriend. It's very nice to meet you, Berenice. I've heard so much about you. Well, it's nice to meet you, too. Oh, I should have brought Rosaki. That's okay. I can get some. You'll have to be preparing for the protest soon, right? Oh, no, it's not until tomorrow. Armin, bring a glass for yourself. You didn't tell me you had a boyfriend? And this girl just rolls down the hill. I mean, she just rolls and rolls and rolls until yours truly had a stopper with my foot. <laughs> I was never that coordinated. No, well, those girls should have never pressured you to do that. <laughs> I guess I just tried to get them to like me. What? No, no, screw them. You're better off without them. Look, I know it's hard managing the social life. And if you want, if you're ever in town, you know, we can go to those autism awareness events we talked about. I wouldn't feel comfortable. Well, that's fine. I don't want to force you to do anything. Well, either way, you definitely did well in the love department. Isn't that right, Armin? Definitely. <laughs> so how long have you two been together? I don't quite remember. About three months, officially. A very happy three months. Oh, that's great. Well, here's two. You two living the life. <laughs> okay, then. Oh, have you ever told Armin about the time our car got stuck in a ditch? I haven't. Oh, my gosh. Okay, this was hysterical. All right, we were driving down the 405. It was a hot day. And all of a sudden, like, the police tried to pull us over and we, like, turned and ran into a ditch. It was so crazy. <laughs> oh, oh, my gosh, is, is he okay? You're, you're fine. He's fine, Berenice. He's just overwhelmed. Thank you for the visit, but I need you to leave now. Okay. But is we'll it? talk tomorrow. Good night, Bernice.
Adrian. You've been working for them? The, the, the stories were too much. Uh, I'll reboot it. That, that'll, that'll do it. You're working for them. You've been playing house with that weapon of theirs? No! He's not like the others. I gave him a mind of his own. We're driving coming four, zero, five. Armin is different. He's real. And intelligent and he cares about me. It was a really hot day in Los Angeles. He's the only one who sees me for me. If he's programmed, can he really consent? 